Hi guys, it's been a long time since my last video. I know there's no excuse for that. But I am back here. I'm going to be doing two different videos for you. One right after this one. And they are both going to be book hauls of books that I have collected at different times that I have been away from here. So let's get started with a book haul. So before I get into this book haul, you can see I am in a different place in my library. This is still my library that I am in, but the wall is different behind me. Most of you know that my favorite book is Alice in Wonderland and also and Through the Looking Glass and what Alice found there. And so I was on vacation the end of uh, July, first week of August. And so I ended up for four days, 11 hours total wallpapering pages from both Alice Adventures in Wonderland and also in Through the Looking Glass and what Alice found there, as well as one of my favorite poems by him called Phantasmagoria. And so I cannot wait to actually complete the wall. Most of you know that I have been wanting to do something with this wall for a while now, and it's finally come to uh, fruition. And the only thing left is I need to find a big either oval mirror or a really big uh, rectangle mirror that's uh, ornate in style, uh, hopefully for a good price. I've been antiquing with my grandparents when I was on vacation and I did not find really any mirrors uh, that were big enough. Uh, but then also I have sent off quotes from the book and images as well uh, that I have found and I sent them to a printer friend of mine who owns a printing company here in Newark. And so uh, he's going to put those on vinyl for me so that way I can just uh, pin them on the wall and don't have to worry about uh, a mess when I have to take him down eventually if I ever do take him down and sell the house later on. Um, so let's get started with the book haul. So when I was on vacation in May, which was a couple of months ago, I went over to Half Price Books. I haven't been down there for a long time and I was actually in the neighborhood and I found quite a few good uh, selections there and I will show those to you now. Uh, the first two being uh, two Stephen King first editions of a couple of books that I have been wanting to read. One, the first one uh, being Duma Key by Stephen King and I read it in the month of June. I had another uh, Stephen King reading marathon in June and I really liked this one. I did have a paperback so I kind of went back and forth between the paperback and the hardcover just depending on where I was at the time when I was reading and I kind of liked that I had the paperback and the hardcover uh, both and then another uh, Stephen King book that I'm surprised I enjoy because a lot of short story collections from any author is uh, kind of hit and miss that you might not like all of the stories and I pretty much like the majority of this uh, short story collection and it's just after a sunset. The next book that I have gotten is from Dean Koontz and in July I finished up with my Dean Koontz marathon of reading and I have been doing uh, different kind of subjects or genres in months this year and last year and uh, the next one I, I am doing right now is the uh, Penguin Classics edition month and I just finished a reread of the Iliad. I haven't read that book since uh, mythology class in high school. And anyway, um, for the Dean Koontz book that I did pick up at Half Price Books is an older book by him and I have read it already but I did not own a uh, hardcover, I only own a paperback version. And this is The House of Thunder. The next book I seen, when I first seen it, I immediately knew that I had to pick it up because surprisingly, being the science fiction, uh, fantasy, and horror fan that I am, I have not read any H.P. Lovecraft stories. Even though I do own a edition of The Time Machine, which I do need to get to, I just haven't read it. I have been wanting to get into him, uh, but for some reason just been drawing off into other authors. And this is a really wonderful, hard, uh, leather-bound edition. It's in a nice folio, 
and it is called H.P. Lovecraft Tales of Terror, and it's just different short stories by him, and I will take the hardcover out of the folio, and I just really like that uh, hardcover uh, book there. The next few books I'm going to try to divulge in next month will be my historical fiction books, slash historical genre, period. And then after that, it's just going to be a free for all throughout the end of the year of books that I want to get to and authors I want to read. And I always have been fascinated ever since I was in school of the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. And seeing Steve Donahue's video on uh, books that he would recommend to read more about the Civil War that he liked, uh, I actually did find one of these books there. They actually had the whole set, but I seen another box set that I just had to have. And, uh, and instead of uh, using that same money to buy two other books in this series, I went ahead with the uh, double book uh, series, and I'll show that to you after the first one here. And this is uh, book one uh, in Battles and Leaders of the Civil War, and it's the opening battles. And I cannot wait to actually get into this. I have been skimming through this, and it looks like it's going to be a really great uh, read. And I surprised that I actually found this in our half price bookstore. The next book, I don't know how uh, far I am going to actually read into this because when looking through it, uh, it is basically more of a reference uh, book between the North and South. And what this is, it is uh, Generals in Gray and Generals in Blue, the sequential a sequencentennial edition, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that first word, and it's by Ezra J. Warner, and I seen this, and I just seen that it was a nice folio, and I will show you what the uh, books look like. Uh, this, of course, is uh, Generals in Gray, and this is, of course, Generals in Blue. So this is my first video, and I will see you in the next video for my second book haul. Hope everybody has a great rest of the week and reading week.